بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو دا نیکسٹ ٹاپک از رسک میجرمنٹ رائٹ سی بیسکلی ان دا پریویس ویڈیوز وی ڈسکس ریگارڈنگ دا رسک وات از رسک وات آر ڈفرنٹ ٹائپس آف دا رسک ون وات آر سورس آف دا رسک انڈرسٹینڈنگ دا ٹائپس آف دا رسک اینڈ سورس آف دا رسک از ناٹ انف فار اس ان آرڈر ٹو مینیج دا رسک If you want to manage the risk of the business, of course, you should be able to measure the risk. If you say there is interest risk, there is a market risk, there is a, for example, purchasing power risk, this risk, that risk, and so on, understanding only the risk is not enough for us. If we want to manage the risk of the business, which is a bigger field in the market, so we have to be able to measure the risk. Unless you measure the risk, of course, you cannot control the risk or you cannot manage the risk. But remember, for management of the risk, there are a few tools or we can say the few steps that you can manage the risk of the business. What are the tools? Basically, simply, we can divide it into three parts. Into three parts. Number one is transferring the risk. What risk? Trans. Transfer the risk. One of the way of managing the risk is this one, transferring the risk. For example, when I feel that there is a risk in my business, there is a risk, we can say, against my asset. In this case, I may take an insurance policy for this one. If there is something happening in the future, so I have to receive from the insurance company. Or, for example, when I feel that the exchange rate may increase or decrease in the future, I have a payment or, I have, or have a receive, you, I may go for the future contract, option contract, For example, forward contract or uh, we can say swap and so on. These are different tools that we can manage. It. The other way of managing the risk is rejecting the risk. What thing the risk? Reject the risk, right? Directly, when you feel that there is a huge risk in the business, so directly you may reject it. No, I didn't want to start this one at all. And the last one is, of course, accepting the risk. What thing the risk? Accepting the risk. So you can accept the risk. See, unless you accept the risk, definitely you cannot make profits. So it depends basically on the level of, level of tolerance of each investors. If you don't want the risk, you can directly reject it. If you want the average risk, you can transfer the risk. If you want more risk, but you expect more return as well. On that case, you can accept the risk of the project. Why? Because at the beginning we said, if you want more return, definitely you have to expect more risk as well, right? So these are the way of managing the risk of the business. You can transfer, reject, and so on. You cannot do any one of this unless you measure the risk. So first of all, you should measure the risk. What do you mean by measurement of the risk? Measurement of the risk means we have to show the risk in terms of percentage. We have to show the risk in terms of amount. What is the risk, for example? Someone may say more risk. Someone may say less risk. What is more risk? What is less risk? Find out in terms of percentage. For example, he may say risk of 10 percentage. Risk of 10 might be more for Ahmad, might be less for Mahmoud, right? So it depends on the level of risk acceptance of the people. Some people are risk adverse. Some people accept the risk, right? So it depends. So you have to measure the risk. Unless you measure the risk, you cannot control the risk of the person. In order to measure the risk, basically we have several tools and techniques. All these tools and techniques are basically divided into two parts. Into two parts means some techniques are used for single investment. For what investment? For single investment. Or we can say single security. Single security, right? If you have invested only in one company, secure, rich, right? If you have invested in the share of one company only, if you have invested in the bond of one company, if you have invested, for example, in the, if you are partner only in one company, this is called single security. On the other side, if you have invested in more than one company, in more than one asset, on that case, this is called portfolio. This is called what? Portfolio. Later on, we'll discuss about the meaning of portfolio. 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 If you have invested in the portfolio, tools and techniques for managing the risk is different. If you have invested in the single security, tools and techniques for managing of this one is different. What are the tools and techniques that you can use? It? If it is a single security, you can use one of the techniques as 
standard standard the standard deviation one of the technique and the second technique is coefficient of variation right coefficient of variation this is the second technique that we can use although there are several other, other techniques but for your bachelor level or we can, you can say according to your course outline so i have only these two standard deviation and coefficient of variation but if you have portfolio if you have portfolio there are other tools and techniques that we can use it what are the tools and techniques number one covariance co covariance is the first technique the second technique is coefficient of correlation another technique and the next technique is uh portfolio variance okay portfolio variance so these three techniques is used for risk measurement of the portfolio and these two techniques is used for the risk measurement of a standard division in the next videos please watch the techniques for controlling the risk of single security, standard division, and covariance, as well as the other techniques for portfolio.